Hello, I'm Andy. I'm Nancy. Welcome back. That car distracted me. <laughs> One more time. Hello, I'm Andy. I'm Nancy. Welcome back. So we've been here for a are we, we're not here for a month yet, even a couple weeks, a couple weeks, couple two weeks, weeks, three weeks. Um, and we are, we are moving. We're moving already. We're not really moving, moving. We're just kind of moving. Does that make sense to you? Um, we bought a shipping container to keep down here because we have a lot of stuff in the bus that is like material, uh, materials for building and tool related that we really don't need to carry on the bus with us everywhere we go when we go somewhere. So being that this is going to be a bit of a home base for us, we decided to get a shipping container so we could have that stuff here without having to actually like go get a storage unit because the shipping container was with delivery uh, 2000, oh my God, 2300 something, 2800 something. Oh my gosh, well, I don't remember how much it was with delivery. How much was the shipping container with delivery? Was it 23 or 28? Delivered 28.30. 28.30, that's where I get the three from. Yeah. Um, but we decided that that would be a better investment than spending the money on a monthly storage unit. So we are moving the bus today um, so that we have room for the truck with the shipping container to get in here and drop off the shipping container. So we're really just pulling out of the driveway and down the road and waiting. And then when he's gone, then we'll back back into the driveway and park where we're going to park. Um, yeah, let me show you what I got to do today for this. I really didn't think that I would be taking everything down off of my counters and putting all my plants on the floor and taking everything down. Oh, hey. I think the chips will be fine. We're not going anywhere, we're just moving. I think how much easier this would be with 47 less plants. 43 less plants, I don't know, maybe I exaggerated. Nobody needs less plants, we just need more space for plants. Okay. So my least favorite thing to do is to pack the bus up for moving. And the guy with the shipping container, or the guy's gonna be here with the shipping container in like, I don't know, 10 minutes. So, we'll see. Andy's just gonna pull the bus out onto the road and head that way. We got somebody coming down behind him. The road's plenty big for people to go around. We got plenty of room. And he's leaving room for the uh, ship container guy because we don't know how much room he's going to need. made it out without going off the edge of the driveway. Mm -hmm. I didn't even use my new part mark. That's where I put it over grass, not so much to get down. So, where I'm standing right now, this is where our bus was parked. And, uh, we're long, 45 feet, about a 40, 40 foot shipping container. So we're in the middle of the driveway. Um, in order for us to get the shipping container in, we had to move the bus. And we weren't quite ready to uh, park it over here where we've been moving gravel to and filling in. We're still a couple loads short, we need to go farther over here because I don't know if you can see I should not be out here in these shoes these are my good shoes but it's a little softer than we want to park the bus on a little bit well that's not a good show but... oh, oh. that's a good show a little squishier than we want to park the bus on and we don't have quite enough room left or quite enough room ready already here 
for now. The shipping container goes here. And he should be here. Any minute now. Just had a little more gravel. I could have backed the bus up there and then pulled it over here to where I want it and then deal with the more gravel later, but I didn't quite have enough to go there. I was able to make a road for a car through here, but that drops off pretty good right there, and that's probably, I bet that gravel's three feet deep right there. So to try to fill this in is I got a I got a dump truck sitting there and another dump truck sitting in the rest of this area. Maybe three dump trucks worth enough. Because the road's gotta go way back. We got a long ways to make this road. Right back in there used to be a garden from the 1950s to the, about the probably the late 80s. And that's where my uh, that's where my shop's gonna go. So that's not quite the kind of truck I was expecting. I know what kind of delivered the one that we got in Minnesota, and that is not the kind of truck that delivered the one we got in Minnesota, but this is totally fine. Yay! Shipping container. <laughs> Yeah. You know that neighbor yep. the yard. Not at all. Oh, that's nice and easy. He's got yeah. all kinds of room. I kind of wonder if people are going to think we're trying to build a shipping container house when all we really need is storage. Hoping you'd be able to make it. I got out with the bus. I'm like, usually if I can get the bus in and out of a place. I say you said you want that full piece. Yeah, it's the problem with the boat where that board is right there. Okay. Well, I may just have to. I may have to slide it off a little bit okay. and, then, and then drive back forward. But... Yep. Whatever works. Face down beneath the rubble lies a man. Of a future already in the past, and of himself, well, he hasn't much to say. Man, I'm a bargain. He said, I left my home where the dead never rose, where the streets of gold I've yet to find. And at the end of the day, all you can do is pray without hope. There's a train full of containers going by in the background. Tomorrow comes a day too soon. Tomorrow comes a day too soon. Angel, sweet angel of my youth. Where have you gone? You flew away too soon. This brick I built, and they'll build a higher wall. Did you just say I need a tractor? Is that what I heard? Because they don't move themselves. Rent one. The tractors are cheap. It's $220 a day and cheap. But it's half the price of the skid steer. I found a real nice Kubota for 15 grand. Oh, is that all? Yeah.
I had to fought as much pivot as I realized it. Then he'll drive the truck forward, yeah. I didn't realize that the uh, fifth wheel had that much of an up pivot, I guess. And then he'll probably... Yeah, and then slide it back further. Well, whatever. He knows what he's doing. Some base to that. That looks nice. That'll work nice. That's like right where I want. See the board there? Yeah. Put the valve for that to be. That's right where I wanted it. So that's perfect. Oh, perfect. And yeah, I'll have to put piers underneath the rear. But now I have a spot to work with on it. Land on top of me to make okay. the piers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I couldn't get this one to shut. It'd be a lot. Yeah, I think that Looks pretty good inside. See, this looks nicer, nicer than the one we have in Minnesota. Looks nice. I think they retire them after 18 years. Okay. I don't know if they got them. Well, they have them. Mm, I have it. That's 2008. Okay. <laughs> yeah, date manufactured, 08, so 15 years old. Yeah. Well, yeah, the 30 year old ones kind of look rough. Yeah. Cool. I know the road has yet to rise On these hundred years that pass me by And the blood with the river flows Through the crimps Definitely downhill towards the back, but right to left feels pretty good And Now it is time to start the bus again And uh Make sure it gets all aired up. So, ooh, we'll probably have to wait for like five minutes, but I'm gonna do something I really don't need to do. Close to full of air, but I'm having fun for lunch with fun. Sure. And you are in front. I didn't even know that sign was there. Cool zone? Yeah. Yeah, because supposedly that church is a is an academy, but I, I only see people there on Sundays. A different view of the neighbors. Yeah. There's so much more room over here than I realized. That's where the house used to be. Straight out the side mm. where the house was. That's the four foot well, that concrete circle there. If you took that lid off, that's like Timmy fell in the well well there. That's really cool. Yeah, this is where the house was. It was straight out in front of us here. Probably easier to it up if I just back up driveway and then pull back up. Okay. There's a car coming from by the church. Got a 
back pass. Get at the right angle when you're at a weird move the court way. Now I just get to keep an eye on that stump down there. There. And the mailbox. Make sure he doesn't hit anything stupid. He can see out his side.